Hello YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, but before we start, I wanna thank Batiste for sponsoring this video and making me one of their ambassadors of the year. I love their product, I've been using it for some time, and I'm gonna show you guys how I refresh my hair, the little hacks that I have, and how do I use dry shampoo, and yes, black people use dry shampoo too. Okay, so let's get to this situation. So my hair, I strained it about five days ago. So it's been five days since I put anything on. It's a little greasy and I kind of want to bring it back to life. I'm gonna put some clip-ons on. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna give you a look with a clip-on that I really, really love. And the first thing I do, I pick the scent that I want to go with. One of my favorite will have to be the original because this is the one that I've been using forever. But since I started working with them, I got to try the different, um, not like I tried different flavors. I got to try the different smells. So the rose gold will have to be one of my second favorite ones. But when I really feel like, I don't know, this one right here is the Clean and Light Bear. It, oh, it smells so good. Like if your hair is sweaty or whatever, put this on and this smell go away. This is their new one for the month uh, for International Woman. Uh, month and also is international dry shampoo day i didn't even know it was a thing but here we are the way that i use my dry shampoo is one of the hacks that i have that i love doing some people like um putting straight some people like putting the spray like straight forward i don't like that because i do have a lot of like thick hair so what i like using is a paddle brush if you guys could tell i use this a lot every time i use my shampoo my dry shampoo, um, I spray it on the brush like that. And I know it's white, don't get scared. And then what I do, you guys can see, I go through the hair. It takes all the oil away. And it's okay if it's a little, a little if it leaves it a little white because you just brush through it and it goes away. So I'm not gonna apply any more product to it because it was a lot in from before. It kind of stays there. So clean your brush before you do this. And I'm just gonna go on top here. And it's gonna look like you just washed it. And just like that, wow. Look how silky and clean it looks. That's what I love about dry shampoo. So if your hair is stinky, if you went to the gym or whatever situation, you need a little, you need a little bit of boost and good smell, spray some of that. You can start from the roots, it just depends. Like for me, I like hair, but make sure you clean your powder brush, don't be like me. Um, and it leaves your hair like you just washed it. Look at that. And if you are a greasy head like me, you will love this. But if you can tell, look how I left my hair. Like I just strained it. Also, something else that I love about dry shampoo, you could use it on your clip-ons, you could use it on your wigs, whatever needs a little pick-me-up and refresh the hair, this will do. I did this with my wig um, a few weeks ago. If you go on my Instagram, go check it out. I legit, the wig was like, I'll put the video here. The wig was ugh, and then I revived it, and she was cute. So dry shampoo, you can use it with your hair, wig, clip-ons, the whole nine. So this is the clip-ons that I'm gonna be using a little bit balayage situation. Um, I'm gonna clean each one and then I'll put them up. Just like that, they're all clean up. <laughs> Let's get to this hair. So I'm gonna start from the bottom right here. I do the little parting with my fingers. It's just easier, some people do the the, ¿cómo se llama? the brush, la pinilla, the comb. I just do it like that. And I go in with the strainer. I'm gonna go with the first one. The first one I like doing, I'm in the middle. I like doing it from the bottom, right here. Clicking that. So, when it's on the front, you can't see the little hairs. See what I mean? See what I mean, Jeremy? Let's get to this. Sometimes I like doing a lot of clip-ons, but for the light days, I put like six or seven on. Sometimes I go in with like 12, 15 sets in my hair. It feels like, girl, I'm gonna come off. Here I go. I'm in the middle. Boom. Boom. And by the way, you guys, these clip-ons are from Hair Are Us. I will link them down below. Link them. Link them. Wow. 
And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, if you're a perfectionist, then go for it. I'm not. Because right here, I'm going to put him on the side. And it's the less uh, balayage because it's the front. It's so crazy. It's so crazy how my hair has grown so much. If you haven't seen my hair secret how to grow, go watch my latest blog. Blog. And it's there. I did it with my mom. It's the Christmas blog. Okay, so here... I'm gonna put this one. So this is where we got so far. I'm gonna put these little two ones right here. Let me straighten them real quick. The little the texture from it. Cause that's literally like my hair texture. This is the Kinky Brazilian Straight. I forgot to tell you guys what it was. Kinky Brazilian Straight, for sure. You do have to strain it if you wanna, you know. You wanna make sure that your hair texture matches with your clip on. That's like one of the biggest things. Matching, matching. You can't even tell. Wow. And this is how it looks like. It refreshed my hair for my clip-ons. And even if you guys could notice, you know when you first wash your hair, then you get the little fly-outs? That's how clean the hair is. Because right now I have to tone those down. So for that, I like using my the Freezing Dry Shampoo for flyaways. You go right directly to the hair, but I apply it to my palm. Just a little and kind of tone it down. There will always be some, what is it? Spotter? No, not spotter. Stubborn ones. But other than that, they do. Look how cute it looks. Ha! <laughs> the back. Ooh, the back looks good because I wasn't able to see good. But that's how it looks. And it's all. I just love Batiste because it just helps refresh my hair when I need to. And all you gotta do, I don't know if I did it in the beginning, you shake. Before you shake, you spray to the hair, all the powder brush, comb it or whatever, and then you style it and you'll be good. But don't forget to shake. Let it go. And this is my hair how it looks like i love it oh my gosh i gotta go somewhere today all the information of everything that i use will be down below in the description box don't forget to check it out and yeah thank you for watching guys and i will see you guys on my next video bye <laughs>